Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be talking about Luke chapter 17 verses 11 to 19 and learn about the 10 lepers and the importance of gratitude. But hey, if this is your first time here, my name is Tim and I'm a pastor here in New Jersey and the whole vision behind my channel is very simple. I make videos that will help grow your faith one video at a time. And so if that's something that appeals to you, please support my channel by hitting that like button. And with that said, let's get into it. So I have a question for you. Have you ever been sick before? Yes. Maybe with a stuffy nose, yup. Or maybe even with the fever, all the time. And do you remember what it felt like? Absolutely. And in today's Bible story, Jesus met with 10 people who were sick with leprosy. Now you might be asking, what is leprosy? During Jesus' time, leprosy was a terrible skin disease that was very easy to spread. It was contagious. And because it was contagious, lepers were kicked out of towns and kicked out of their families. They were considered unclean and no one wanted to be around them. But when these 10 lepers saw Jesus, they went to him and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And when Jesus saw them, he told them to go show themselves to the priest. And as they went to go to the priest, they were healed of their sickness. But then there was one person, right, that's right, one out of 10 people that actually came back and said thank you to Jesus. And then this is what Jesus said to him. Jesus asked, were not all 10 cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go, your faith has made you well. Now we don't know why the nine men didn't come back to thank Jesus, but what we do know is that there was one person that came back and expressed his gratitude. So what do we learn from the scripture passage? Well, we learn that when someone does something for us, we had to express our gratitude by saying thank you. So for example, when someone opens the door for us, or if someone gives us a meal, or if someone saves us a spot, we have to express our gratitude verbally and say thank you. We can't assume that they know that we are grateful. And the most important thing is that we have to express our gratitude to God because He has done so much for you and for me. God forgave us and the reason why he did was because he loves you and me so much and he showed us through the example of his son Jesus Christ on the cross. And so if there's anything that you remember from today, here is our bottom line and it is this. Take the time to say thank you. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. And with that said, Pastor Tim out. Wait, I'm still in my room. I'm in my computer screen. Wait, how did I get here? What am I forgetting? Did I brush my teeth? Did I shower this morning? I did, but why do I still smell? Did I feed my pet turtle? Wait, you don't have a pet turtle. What are you talking about? What am I forgetting? Man, oh, I forgot to wash my hands. Remember, you always gotta wash your hands because if you don't, you'll end up in a computer screen. And so with that said, Pastor Tim out.